Hello and welcome to MATLAB programming for numerical computations. In module 5, we have been covering methods to solve nonlinear algebraic equations of the form fx equal to 0. In lecture 5.1, we covered a numerical technique known as bisection rule. In bisection rule, we start with two initial guesses and use the bisection rule in order to obtain the desired solution. In lecture 5.3, we covered a different numerical technique known as fixed point iteration. Fixed point iteration uses only a single initial guess uh, and uh, then we recursively solve the equation in order to get the desired solution. In this lecture, we are going to cover a, a third method known as newton raphsons method, which is a very popular method. Today, we are going to cover a single variable version of newton raphson method. In a subsequent lecture, we are going to extend this newton raphsons method to multiple variable case. However, today, what we are going to do is two things. First, we will see how we can use newton raphsons method in MATLAB in order to solve a problem fx equal to zero. And later on, we will see how quickly newton raphsons method converges to the desired solution. Okay, so let's talk about newton raphson it's a popular method which was covered again in module 4 part 2 of the computational techniques course the link for which is given over here uh, each new guess for newton raphson method we start with an initial guess x0 and use this equation in order to obtain x1 then we use x1 in order to obtain x2 so on and so forth we are interested in solving the problem fx equal to 0 and given the function f of x, we also need to calculate f dash of x. That's the first derivative of uh, the function. Okay, so if we have the value of f of x and f dash of x at the current guess, then this is the equation that will be used in order to compute the new guess using the newton raphsons technique. newton raphsons technique is a popular technique because it has one of the fastest rates of convergence uh, amongst the various methods used for solving uh, nonlinear algebraic equations. Okay, uh, let's look at now uh, how we will use newton raphsons in order to solve the example that we have been covering so far in this module. The example is fx is given by 2 minus x plus ln x and we need to find the solution to this particular nonlinear equation. As I said in the previous slide, uh, in order to calculate the solution using newton raphsons method, uh, we also need f dash of x and f dash of x for this problem is nothing but minus 1 plus 1 by x. Okay, so once we are equipped with fx and f dash x, we can go over to MATLAB and use newton raphsons to calculate the solution using uh, uh, an iterative method. Okay, so let's open the file from the previous time, which was fixed point iteration. Okay, and let's copy, save this as a different file and let's call this as new wrap new wrap okay to solve nonlinear equations using Newton Raphson there's no case 1 and case 2 our f of x uh, is 2 minus x plus ln x Okay, uh, so what I'm doing over here in today's lecture is rather than starting from a blank slate, I will take uh, the solution that we obtained in the previous lecture and I will edit that solution in order to solve solve the same problem using newton raphson So this is just one more way of doing this. Uh, we will be able to write the newton raphson code a little bit more quickly than if we were starting from a blank slate. Okay. Uh, we will again keep the same initial guess x0 equal to 1. Let's keep max iterations as 50. Tolerance, yes, let's just keep it as 10 to the power uh, minus 4. Okay, this is where we need to change. Okay, so for Newton Raphson's method, first we need to calculate f of x, and f is nothing but 2 minus x plus log x, and f dash we will represent this as a df. Uh, df is minus 1 plus 
1 by x right so minus 1 comes from here and 1 by x comes from here okay so x i plus 1 is nothing but x minus f divided by f dash f divided by df and that's our solution using newton raphson and then we continue with calculating the error uh, and we store the x in x old and if error is less than the tolerance value then we stop okay so that's our newton raphson's technique let's run it and look at the solution okay so for an initial guess of one we actually do not get a solution and this is a demonstration of one of the problems with newton raphson if we do not start with a decent initial guess for newton raphson just like fixed point iteration we may not get newton raphson to converge let's say instead of one we were to start with a different initial guess of two let's save this and run Okay, if we were to start with an initial guess of 2, Newton Raphson's method converges in 4 iterations to the solution 3.1462. So let's head over back to PowerPoint and see what we have done so far. We took up the same code that we had used last time for fixed point iteration and modified it using the Newton Raphson's formula. And this was the Newton Raphson's formula the new value of x is nothing but the old value minus f function f of x divided by f dash of x. So now that we have solved the problem using Newton Raphson in MATLAB, what we are going to do in the next few minutes is to do some analysis of Newton Raphson's technique. Uh, in fact, we would uh, do analysis of both Newton Raphson's and fixed point iteration that we had covered in lecture 5.3 and we will compare how the two methods behave vis-a-vis -vis each other. We have already seen that the fixed point iteration method takes something like 10 iterations in order to converge whereas Newton Raphson's converges in something like 4 iterations. Why that is? is because Newton Raphson's has what is known as the quadratic rate of convergence which basically means that the error in the i plus 1th iteration is approximately equal to error in ith iteration to the power 2. On the other hand fixed point iteration has a linear rate of convergence. For example what that means is if let's say uh, uh, the error uh, in ith iteration was 0.1 then in i plus 1th iteration will be 10 to the power minus 2, then it will go to 10 to the power minus 4, 10 to the power minus 8, so on and so forth. So it has usually a much faster rate of convergence compared to fixed point iteration. The derivation and analysis of this was covered in module 4 part 4 of the computational techniques course, the link for which is given over here. Okay, so let's look at what it means when we talk about quadratic rate of convergence. So what we want to do is we want to look at how uh, error in i plus 1th step compare with error in the previous step. So let's go back to MATLAB and let's look at the Newton Raphson. Okay, so this was the overall Newton Raphson solution. So if we have defined our error in this particular manner. So what I'll do is, let's say I will call this an error in ith step and uh, so error i is this. So let me just save this and let's run this so that we have three different uh, uh, error values. Okay, so let's type this err vector. Okay, so this is error 1, error 2, error 3, error four okay so previous error is previous error is going to be err one two three and current error equal to err two two four okay so let me just do pre prev error to show you what I am actually doing. Okay, so the previous error was, so this is EI, this is E1, this is E2, this is E2, this is E3, this is E3, this is E4. So if I put 
current error as the y-axis and previous error as the x-axis, what we are plotting is EI plus 1 against EI in the x-axis. So let's do that. Plot uh, x-axis is previous error, prev error, y-axis is current error. Okay, and let's plot this. Okay, this is how the current error and the previous error uh, are, are going to change. Okay, uh, so let's, what we also want to do is not have it in this way. We want to have the logarithm of that so that we can make some meaningful conclusions. So log of priv error and log of current error. Okay, so we have a log log plot and the slope of this plot is going to be approximately equal to 2. So we have this as x is 0.3 and y is minus 1. When x becomes uh, minus 5.6, y becomes minus 13. So my minus 13 min minus 1 is going to be up minus 12 and minus 5 minus uh, 0, 0 0.3 minus 5.6 minus 0 0.3 is going to be approximately 6. So it's 12 divided by 6. So approximately speaking, the slope of that line is uh, 2. So we have this particular line as slope of 2 with a slope of 2. Okay, so let's type hold on and that plot will be held. Let's go on to the other uh, method clear all. CLC and that is fixed point iteration. So edit fixed point iteration and let's do the same thing. ERRI and we want to start with an initial guess of 2. So that is ERRI and we want to store the errors. Let's run this. We have now stored the errors. Okay. Okay, I, what I need to do is this. Yeah, so because I wa didn't have ERR i less than tall x, what this was doing was it w if any ERR value is greater than tall x, it's not going to stop. So I've made this particular change. Again, clear all. And let's run this. Okay, so in 10 iterations, this has converged and what we will do is previous error previous error is 1 to 9 current error current error is 2 to 10 and what we want to do is plot log log previous error against current error and let's plot this as dashed red line show graph okay so this is how the error changes when it, this is fixed point iteration and this is how the error changes when it is uh, newton raphson's so in case of a fixed point iteration what we get is a linear line x has fallen or log x has fallen by uh, about 9 and y has fallen also by approximately 9 from minus 1 to minus 10 y has gone and from uh, approximately 0 to minus 9 x has gone so x versus y has a linear slope whereas this slope is approximately slope of 2 so that is what it means by linear versus quadratic rate of convergence when it is a quadratic rate of convergence error in i plus 1 step is square of the error in i step and when it is linear rate of convergence, ith step error is approximately uh, the same order of magnitude as uh, i minus oneth step error. Okay, so that's why uh, partly Newton-Raphson's method is so popular because it has a quadratic rate of convergence. 
what we have also seen in today's lecture when we gave a very small initial condition for newton raphson when we started newton raphson with an initial condition of 1 newton raphson did not converge but it indeed diverged so the divergence problem that we had actually seen for fixed point iteration that problem is also there for newton raphson's method so one needs to be very careful before applying a method such as newton raphson's or fixed point iteration so with that i come to the end of this lecture lecture 5.4 in this lecture and the previous lecture we have covered two techniques the fixed point iteration in lecture 5.3 and in today's lecture newton raphson's method we ended today's lecture by doing a comparison between the convergence rates of newton raphson's and fixed point iteration uh, the aim of that was really to uh, understand what it means by uh, a quadratic rate of convergence and why does quadratic rate of convergence uh, result in popularity of newton raphson method as far as this particular lecture series goes we are primarily interested in solving the problem using matlab and the error analysis for the newton raphson's method is something that we just added on in order to give us a flavor for how these techniques work with that, I come to the end of this lecture and I will see you in the next lecture. Thanks and bye.